Welcome to TTP, Turnbuckle Talk Podcast. This podcast is sponsored by Dirty Blondes. Dirty Blondes is a bar located in the heart of Blackpool, famous for their banging tunes, cocktails and 18-inch pizzas. The only place to get a pizza as big as your table across the Fab Coast. If you're ever in Blackpool, check them out. They're on Facebook and on Instagram. That's Dirty Blondes Blackpool. Welcome to TTP Tumbuckle Talk podcast. I'm joined by the Scottish stud. He's my Sean Connery, my James McAvoy, John Dugan. <laughs> uh, how you doing? You all right? Yeah. Is that, the two sc- Is that the only two Scottish actors you can think of? Yeah. <laughs> um, is Susan Boyle Scottish? Susan Boyle? Yeah, I feel like she is. Yeah, she is. I think she's right. from the I'm going to have to use it next week then. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> How are you doing? <laughs> I'm doing well, yeah. Good. Looking forward to WrestleMania. That's yeah. Time of year. This is, it's like New Year, isn't it? This is like when it all starts and you're like, yes, yeah. let's do this. Do you know what? Because I was thinking like the other day, well, a few days ago, like, oh, it's not, you know, the fight card isn't as good as I, as one, you know, as I would want it to be, especially with people like mm. Bad Bunny. Um, but then I was watching some old WrestleManias and I just got so pumped for it. I was like, it doesn't matter who's on the, you know, what fight card it is. It's WrestleMania. <laughs> Yeah, I see the magic about it. And I know an old WrestleMania. But yeah. Mm. yeah, it's always a big event, isn't it? and it's like it's. I'm trying to explain to people today about it. I'm like, it's the Super Bowl of wrestling. Yeah, because people watch Super Bowl. It doesn't matter what teams are in it. So it doesn't matter if you know the wrestlers or not. I think people that used to like wrestling that don't watch it now still kind of watch WrestleMania to see kind of what's going on. It's like mm. the showcase of what the what's happening kind of thing, isn't it? Mm. <laughs> yeah. It should be interesting. I mean, we had the two nights last year, didn't we? I don't know if I like it over two nights or not. Yeah, it's it's, it's, it's different, isn't it? It's, it? It feels a bit weird. Yeah. Um, but then it's a lot, it's long, isn't it, when it's just the one night? Maybe they should do it on the two nights. Yeah. Yeah, maybe. I mean, I'm not saying it's a bad thing. It's just, it just feels different. Mm. I've got a little... Because you usually you judge... Oh, yeah. <laughs> Other fast food restaurants are available. Like Kieran... <laughs> uh, I think over the two nights because you usually you judge WrestleMania don't you on who's been the best of the whole thing on the one night where it's over the two you're kind of going well that was good on that one and that was good like last year it was both the pre-recorded ones were probably the better matches like the, do you remember the Bray Wyatt and John Cena one which was yeah, that was so so good though. It was so yeah, good. It was bizarre. And then really. It was, it was, and then you have obviously had the Undert- Undertaker's last match, which was you know like a horror film, but in a good way. Sometimes mm. you watch a match and it's like a really bad horror film. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's like about WCW there. <laughs> well, yeah, <laughs> but yeah, I'm looking forward to it. Um. And there's a lot of matches as well this year. I mean, obviously, yeah. it's two nights, but, you know, the two nights are packed full of matches. Like, we'll get into it, because we're going to... We're talking about... We're going to mention, like... We've picked, haven't we, like, our favourite WrestleMania moment. But, I mean, I've got millions. But so, for me, I watched WrestleMania 30, and there's only eight matches on it. Which isn't a lot for WrestleMania because it's usually on for eight hours. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Do you know what I mean? So like, yeah, yeah. I think it gets bigger every year, doesn't it? They just think, mm. let's pack it all. There's that many wrestlers, though. But then I don't think they should do that because as a wrestler, 
the pinnacle has been on the WrestleMania card. But if you're just letting everybody on it, then it doesn't mean anything. Yeah. But I suppose everybody wants that WrestleMania moment, which is different. Yeah, but I don't know. If you're just letting everybody on it, well, it's I mean, just it's like, like another... Hall of Fame, isn't it? <laughs> I haven't watched it yet, you know. I haven't had a um, chance, but. Just before I go into Hall of Fame, I've just looked at myself. Was it weird? I think, was I've, it caught the... I think I've caught the sun. <laughs> I'm a bit red. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, got a better colour. <laughs> yeah, um, it was really hot today. Anyway, um, on about... You can tell about it was a busy skin. one, can't you? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> um, anyway. Um, so you watched yeah. the Hall of Fame, didn't you? Yeah, right. I did, yeah, yeah. Well, I only watched... Yeah, was it? This, I only watched the second night. Was it on twice? Yeah, so it's in two halves. I don't know if it's over two nights, but it's in two halves anyway. Oh. Um, the, the first episode of the Hall of Fame is the inductees from last year. Because they didn't actually get inducted, did they? You know, yeah. yeah. NWO. Oh, yeah, I read about that one. Um, Batista didn't show up, did he? Yeah. He couldn't make it or something. Um, hmm. So... Yeah, so I only watched the, the second half of it, where, which started off with Rob Van, Rob Van Dam. Um, the great Carly was on it, but he was on was his speech. Chance. His speech was short and sweet. <laughs> That's what you want, isn't it? Um, and then, see now, I always moan about celebrities being on Hall of Fame. Celebrities should not be on fame, done something for WWE. Now, Ozzy Osbourne, sh I think, should be in Hall of Fame. So, I'm at Hall of Fame. Um, yeah, great Carly. His speech was short and sweet. And I was saying that I hate celebrities that are in Hall of Fame. Mm. But Ozzy Osbourne kind of deserves to be in the Hall of Fame because he was in it, you know, Right, you know, in the early 80s, you know, he appeared in, yeah. um, you know, he's been in wrestling in and out quite consistently, mm. I would say. Um, and he also did a theme song for Judgment Day. Right, yeah. Uh, so he, he deserves to be in it. He's done something for the wrestling company. So, you know. Um, who, who was the other one? Was it William Shatner last year or something? William William Shatner, what has he done? <laughs> I mean, I know he's been in the squared circle. He's done like a, a comedy, you know. He's been in it, hasn't mm. he? It went on it went on raw, I think. Yeah. But that's not that's not enough for Hall of Fame. No. I don't understand why they put celebrities in it. I don't know. Because um, you know, they don't do that in any other Hall of Fame, they don't do that. No. I, it, it annoys me. So I just want to say so that. Um, however, <laughs> Kane's speech was really, really good. Yeah, I need to watch it. Yeah, it was good. So I'm a big fan of Kane. Yeah, as you can probably see. <laughs> um, I mean, yeah, definitely. It's. I think they should have put him and Undertaker and just have them on it, though. No one else. Mm. Yeah. Um, um, so, yeah. Hall of Fame is good. <laughs> yeah, it's worth watching. I do like watching the Hall of Fame. But it's it's but, weird because, um, who was it that came out? Bella Twins? No, somebody came out and they were looking around as to say, thank you. Yes. Mm. And I was like... Who the hell are you looking at? There's nobody there. And it just, and <laughs> it's like, weird, isn't it? Whenever, like, um, so Kane was on about Paul Bearer, and then you can just tell some guy was like, Paul Bearer, press the button that goes, yay. And then he's on about, they're on about, <laughs> Kane's on about something else. And then they go, right, okay, press that button. Boo. And it was just like, <laughs> the audience was so, you could tell it was just like, as soon as you know, he said Weird. two phrases, 
they press the you know mm. the audience, which I get they have to do because there's no audience. Um, I know there's the screen, uh, the Thunderdome screen or whatever, but still, it just it sounded a bit a bit fake. There must I know have been it, another way. To, there must have been another way to do it. Uh, other award shows haven't done that, have they? Yeah, it's just weird. Like, I don't know. Because like the sound clip mm. was like yay, and they were. <laughs> it stopped instantly. I was, I was like, it just sounded just a bit naff. Hey, weird. Yeah. Um, who inducted Kane? Um, well, I don't think anybody actually did because there was a massive VT and it was people talking about Kane. You know, lots of different wrestlers saying, you know, what Kane right. has done for them and kind of, you know, what he's done for his career. And everyone was picking up Kane. Right. So... But um, yeah, no one introduced him, you know, on stage or anything. Mm. Fair enough. Should watch it. Um, Bella Twins. Yeah, that was Very on the, the first. That was on the first one, I believe. I haven't watched that one yet. Right. It's because I don't know about, about, like don't understand. Don't understand why they're in it, but I see why they're in it. I think they no, definitely stepping stone to what. Yeah, I mean, they definitely did a lot for mm. the women's revolution. They was in that whirlwind of the women's revolution. Yeah. Evolution. So. Yeah. But <laughs> I will say something. I did watch. Um, and if I'm not going to bring it up, actually. I'm not going to bring it up. What? I was going to bring up that I watched the 50 greatest women wrestlers. Hey, I've not seen that. Well, I, I told you dinner that I didn't think number four should have been where she was. Who did China. you say? I can't remember. Uh, you don't think yeah. she should be? Where should she be? <laughs> Maybe not Ten. first, but at least second. You think? I mean... Look, I know we've had this big conversation on the group chat, right? Everyone <laughs> bugging me off. But she was the first woman in the Royal Rumble. The first female to have the belt. Doesn't mean anything. Yeah. She started wrestling guys. She was like the first stepping stone. If it wasn't for her, people, other women might have gone, oh, if she can do it, I can do it. Mm. You, say, you could say that about Lita. Yeah, but China was before Lita. Yeah, but she was never... A, it took a while for her to be good at wrestling. When Lita came in and she was good at wrestling, then to be off. All right, fair enough. But China was like the first she real... Wasn't, she wasn't that... She wasn't that long before uh, Lita. Yeah, but she was before. Really? Yeah, but she was before, weren't she? Yeah, by... By what, two years? Yeah, but that, that doesn't matter. She was before every other woman. She started off. That's my point. How does... Right, we've had this big discussion in this group chat we're in <laughs> that you've mentioned. Yeah, I got mugged up. But I kind of get what everyone else is saying. How does China, being in the men's Royal Rumble, do anything for women's wrestling? Shouldn't it have been having great matches with fellow women wrestlers your okay. point is that she was good because she was competing with the men but surely she should have been elevating all the women and getting people to go oh, oh I want to see China against Trish Lita yeah, no, Lita and Trish yeah. main evented in a raw because <laughs> people wanted to watch it she had great matches think... against she had great matches against women but what I'm saying is she pushed the boundaries yeah. She pushed the boundaries. That's what I'm saying. If it wasn't her pushing boundaries, then the women's wrestling wouldn't have gone as far as it did in a short amount of time. Within them two years, they have Lita that come in, and then she was pushing boundaries, and so on and so on. And it's it's a snowball effect. Mm. Then no, because then think what well, right think what other women wrestling was going on when China was in it. Go on. It was mud wrestling. Yeah. Gravy boat 
Yeah. But Shana didn't do that. That's what I'm saying. She was pushing the boundaries. She was like, no, yeah, I'm, not she... doing, I'm not doing mud wrestling. I want to go <laughs> against, I want to have a real wrestling match. Did she? I don't think she did. She did. She, her in Ivory. Um, and then, you know, she had. The... She didn't even have her own, she didn't even have her own wrestling moves. <laughs> what do you mean? She just caught. No, she didn't know. She, she copied Triple H exactly. She just did Triple H's moves. <laughs> right, well. I, I don't what was that. China's finisher? Her finisher? It was the pedigree. It was the pedigree. No, I think what she did, actually, <laughs> she did. Um, I can't remember what it's called, but she basically did a. like a, a somersault and then threw her back into the opponent that was in, that was on the ropes. Yeah, she said that eventually, but when she first started out, in the time you're talking about, she's had a pedigree and probably like a... Well, I'll tell you uh, what, John, we'll have another episode about women. Because I, I can argue this point all day. <laughs> For me, China is one of the greatest. Imagine China in WWE now. She would be explosive. Imagine China against Charlotte Flair, WrestleMania. Oh my days. I know. Mm -hmm. It's speechless. I know. I know. <laughs> she was just the wrong place I mean, at the wrong time. It's, it's, she, was, she was a big character. I'll give you that. But She was ahead of no. the time. By two anyway. years. <laughs> right, anyway, let's move on to the current uh, roster. Let's, are we doing uh, talking about our um, favourite moments first? Yeah, go with that. Okay, so we picked our... Uh, is you, is you, I'm guessing your, is yours China coming in with a bazooka entrance? <laughs> it was quite cool, wasn't it? <laughs> um, nobody else had that kind of... Anyway, right, well, I'm not getting into that. So we, <laughs> we picked, not, not, not necessarily our, our favourite moments, but you know, one of our um, highlights from WrestleMania, because obviously there's, there's so many favourite yeah, moments. Yeah, there's a lot. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So we just picked one uh, to talk about, to, and then we'll talk about WrestleMania 37. Is that what I said? Jeez. Um, yeah. Who's going first? Me. You can go first, because yours is... Uh, Epic. Uh, <laughs> no, yours is in order. <laughs> Mine's after yours. Right, okay. So mine's mine's really the reason I picked this one is I think it's a perfect example of good wrestling can be. You've got you know fans dictating what they want to see and WWE actually listening. Which doesn't happen a lot. It doesn't happen a lot. You've does got it? that true underdog. It doesn't. You've got that true like underdog story of because we've we've talked about this, but when you watch wrestling, you've kind of got to have disbelief and not know what's going to happen. Where if you think about what happened, you would be like, oh yeah, obviously that was going to happen. But when you're watching it, I like I said, I watched it yesterday. And I was still like, this is amazing. I can't believe what I'm watching. <laughs> so what I've went for is um, WrestleMania. <laughs> what do you not think? Am I right or am I wrong? No, 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 you are. You are. Um, so I'll tell you what the moment is for. So it was WrestleMania Fair, and it was also known as was it Yes Amania? So I mean, there's a lot of things after the WrestleMania Fair. Oh, um, yeah. Because it's it's a good one. It's when spoiler alert. It's when the streak ended. I don't think that's a um, spoiler. Everyone knows that. <laughs> <laughs> who, who um, know that. You had Hulk Hogan before the controversy comes out hosting WrestleMania. It's such a good WrestleMania. I I really go and watch it. You've got Hulk Hogan at the start. It comes on with like. Stone Cold and The Rock come out. It's so good. It's so the, good. The, this is the um, one where Hulk Hogan says the wrong stadium, doesn't he? Yeah, he says the Silver Dome. <laughs> he says it twice and he gets booed and he can't, he, oh, he can't see it. He can't work out why they're doing it. And then, 
Enzo, and he says Silver Dub as well. It's funny. Um, so yeah, so there's a lot. There's all, like I said before. There's only eight matches in this WrestleMania, but it's such a good WrestleMania. It was also the first WrestleMania to be on the network. It was WrestleMania Fair? Did you know was that? It? That's um, th- that. That's a good fact. I like that. I didn't know that. <laughs> The first WrestleMania I watched when I got back into wrestling. Which is probably why I stuck with it, because this WrestleMania is so good. Like, I think if you start watching wrestling again now after being out, I don't know if you would stick around. I think you'd be like, nah, it's not as good. Well, it's it's such a good WrestleMania. Anyway, (laughs) so mine is Daniel Bryan. So, before this... Daniel Bryan's is getting sort of in these championship matches, but he's losing. And, you know, the crowd. It's, it's, Daniel Bryan is such a weird wrestler because I can't explain why I like him. But I think it's because he's such an underdog, but he's so his wrestling skills are so good that mm. you back him. He's one of them wrestlers that's got, you know, before it was a programme, it was said and tough enough where they were looking for the X factor for a wrestler. And I think Daniel Bryan's one of the few that has got that. There's just something about Daniel Bryan, you watch it and you go, I was just, I'm just happy watching you wrestle and doing your thing. Yeah. So this year was a big year for him. So fans are getting behind him. His thing is the yes. All the fans are getting behind him. WWE at first are like, <laughs> no, you're not going to get any further. You're not going to win the championship. And so what naturally happens is the crowd made it a thing to back Daniel Bryan. Like, WWE had no plans for him ever being sort of champion. And, you know, they're doing the yes thing anytime. And it was, uh, what would they call it at the time? The authority. Mm. We're doing anytime they were doing some sort of promo, you would hear yes ones or Daniel Bryan chants. Now, and me and my so, missus, uh, we went to SmackDown. I well, I convinced her to go to SmackDown, shall we say? Um, mm. And it was that around that time. And I kept doing yes at home, and she was like, "Oh my god, stop doing that! It's so annoying." And then <laughs> I went, yes, yes, yes. yes. And like honestly, like, you know, like um, Meg Ryan. It was like a build-up of yeah. yeah. <laughs> and it was just like it was unbelievable. That like, the sound, it's just it makes yeah your head stand up, doesn't it? Yeah. So, like I said, yeah, it just starts, you know, rolling. Crowd get more and more again um, with Daniel Bryan and like give him a chance, give him a chance. So then WWE finally take notice and think absolutely. But this is such a good storyline. This is what we're doing. So what happened was, um, so the yes movement happened, and I mean the yes movement kind of went a bit global. It was happening in all different sports, like basketball crowds were doing it, yeah, football crowds were doing it. Basically, everyone was doing the the, the yes movement, as they call it. So then it comes to WrestleMania and Triple H says he doesn't want another chance and he makes the main event a triple threat between um, Batista and Orton, who are, you know, quite hard to beat, and the winner of Triple H against Daniel Bryan. So Daniel Bryan's got to wrestle Triple H, who rarely loses at WrestleMania. Really, mm. and then it's going to be a triple threat, which would mean it's uh, no all's barred. So, I mean, it's such a good one to watch. So you've got the triple tri- triple H does his usual WrestleMania entrance. If you which one is there. this? He's got a red cape on. He's got his crown, his skull yes. crown on. Yeah, yeah. I think this is the famous one with um, Charlotte Flair. Match. It may be, yeah. Uh, Shout for a few of the deals um, in that. He has a match. 
Yeah. He uh, has the match. He puts Triple H in the yes lock. And Triple H taps out. So he wins clean, which is shocking as well, to be fair. And then afterwards, Triple H attacked him. Uh, I think he attacked him with a sledgehammer. Uh, so after that, you know, this is like second match then, so six matches later. Um, <laughs> he's got to have a match. So, you know, as WrestleMania goes on, you've obviously got the streak getting broken. And then there's the Divas match. And then it's the Daniel Bryan match. So then it's triple threat. So it's no hold hard. Um, and they're attacking his arm that's been attacked. You think he's not going to win. <laughs> All sorts happen. Uh, triple H and Stephanie Mann come out and attack. Uh, attack Daniel Bryan. I mean, it's really hard to describe it. You really have to watch it. Like, he's probably getting beaten down, but he's still... You're watching it and you're thinking he's still got a chance here. He gets yeah. taken away in a stretcher. Um, yeah, I, I mean, it's yeah. full like cliche of a wrestling match. You're getting taken away in a thing, holding his arm. I think his arm's in a sling. Um, and he's like, no, I can still do this. He gets back and he wins the match. It's, so, it's such a good match to watch. It's such a good story that it's just one of them you got to watch. Like, I think I might well, watch WrestleMania after this episode. The bell dub to it is just amazing. It's such just it's so good. Like, it's just like the fact that you know the fans got listened to. I mean, it's what we talked about the re women's revolution and that, and that's what happened with that as well. Everyone was like, "Give divas a chance." and the thing so it does happen they do listen sometimes but such a great it's like a a movie it really is like it's a proper rocky story where it's like no yeah. you got no chance all right you're in a match with like the son-in-law of the owner who never really loses at wrestlemania and then after that you're in a triple fair with batista and randy orton it's just and the yes is when he wins it's just unbelievable it's what and, WrestleMania is all about. It's just it's like you said as well that um you know it um it was the yes movement was was all over. People were doing mm. it, you know, it became trendy, people were doing it at, you know, football stadiums, you know, um out and about, you, it was on it was on YouTube, Facebook. Have you seen the new Coca-Cola advert? I don't think so. It's got Daniel Bryan in it doing yes. Is it? Yeah. I noticed it. Well, I didn't notice it. Freya noticed it. She was, I thought she was taking a mic as well because Daniel Bryan, he gets called like a gnome because he's just got this massive beard and a thing. <laughs> so uh, he was on TV and she was like, Daniel Bryan was just on that cloak pad there. I was like, surely not. I was, thought she was just saying it because it was somebody that looked like it. We rewound it. It was a clip from like a Raw where he's doing wow, the yes. Okay. Um, but yeah, it's quite cool. It's I'm not really a Coca-Cola kind of person. <laughs> I've got Tango. Have you? It's a new flavour. What? Yeah, dark, what's that? Purple. Uh, dark berry. It's like a black currant flavour. It's quite nice. Mm. Yeah, that's mine. I'm a massive Daniel Bryan fan. Like I said, when um, you know, I've said before on air, I kind of I've been in and out of wrestling, and when I came back the last time, Daniel Bryan was on the rise, and it. Probably yeah, made me sick because I was like, "This guy's amazing." Yeah. Well, mine. Um, That's why I've got this beard. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm going for the Daniel Bryan beard. <laughs> <laughs> um, you're going to go vegan as well. Mm, could do. <laughs> Don't go vegan. Uh, I love the vegan to... story. I love that vegan belt. Yeah, Such it's such a nice it. belt. I mean, mm. it's it's quite it's different, isn't it? It's, yeah, it's a wooden uh, bell. When have you ever seen that? <laughs> yeah. So my yeah, WrestleMania yeah. moment I've picked follows on from you from yours, to be honest, and it goes with the streak. So Brock Lesnar beats Undertaker, for, you know, and destroys the streak, which is unbelievable. I remember I was watching it thinking, "What mm -hmm. the? F 
what's just happened? It was unbelievable, right? Nobody ever expected I mean, it. I remember at the time it was on the news. Somebody put his like life savings on Undertaker to win because he'd never lost a thing. And it was only to win like I say only yeah. to win like ten grand, he'd put on hundreds of thousands to win sort of ten grand and be ten grand up. And when it got yeah. beat, he obviously lost his life savings. What That's why he's from and wrestling. Do you know as well? Sorry, just to go into it. Vince McMahon decided that decision four hours before that match. Really? He's just decided that's what he's going to do, yeah. So he told The Undertaker, kind of when he arrived for WrestleMania that day, so, you know, you, so he didn't know, Undertaker didn't know the day before, he knew the day of, mm. four hours before he was going to have a match. See, that's what I like, that. and that's a kind of good segue for something else that I'm going to talk about later. Um, mm. So, Brock Lesnar is on fire. And, you know, he beats a streak and he's kind of a bit hated for it, isn't he? Mm. Um, but, I mean, the Undertaker, did he have to lose a streak? Probably yes. If he wanted to pass the to the torch on, I think he probably should have lost a streak. Now, the Undertaker said himself... <sighs> the Undertaker said However, himself that... Go on. That he should have passed it to Roman Reigns. <laughs> Yeah, I was going to say, he's done it to Brock Lesnar, who was well into his career, who's kind of over for being tough. Did he have to give it to Brock Lesnar? Imagine, just imagine, imagine this. This is a sexy thought. Imagine if it was the Undertaker of a Cesaro, and Cesaro beat the streak. Cesaro? You know that, you know that meme of Vince McMahon where he's in the chair? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, me. It's the same old boy, like... Um, I don't think Roman Reigns was the right one again. Cesaro was, I think. I think. <laughs> anyway, so but there's the. I don't. Always... I mean, I, I don't think they should have done it. It could have been one of them legacies where he's just. Why not give well, him that record? Everything has to end, and I think. I don't know. It's a I don't know what any what. I've never met anyone that's happy with that decision. No, I'm not happy with it. I'm not saying that at all, but if it's going to happen, I, I understand why it's happened. That's what I'm trying to say. I get it, yeah. But I just don't... I don't understand the logic of it being Brock Lesnar because yeah, Brock Lesnar didn't need that push. Yeah, that, that's the thing that is... Yeah. You're talking about Brock Lesnar being in the UFC. Yeah. We know he's... The, He's a badass. It's not like we don't yeah. know who he was. It's just bizarre um, to me. I mean, I've done that. So, well, as that goes on this path of just being unbeaten and just a monster, he mm. squashes John Cena. Brutal. SummerSlam. Because, what, sorry, you know, before like 18, that... 18? 18 yeah. In suplexes? Before that, he was against Big Show and he squashed the Big Show, pretty much. And was getting a bit sick of because he was like, oh, it's a Brock Lesnar show, and he was winning, ev- no, and winning everything, and he's beating everyone. And then it was him and John Cena. And we thought, if someone's going to take him out, it's going to be John Cena. Surely, mm-hmm. John Cena looked like no, he looked like, you know, it made John Cena look terrible. He, yeah, he beat the. You know, like I said, how many suplex was it? 18, I think. It's something <laughs> ridiculous. Against John but 18, Cena. like, one after the other. It wasn't like a sporadic sort of doing it. It was literally yeah. suplex, 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 suplex. It was absolutely mad. Such a weird match, yeah. Um, we, we really thought John Cena was going to be the person to take out Brock Lesnar, but obviously it wasn't. So then we go on to the next WrestleMania, WrestleMania 31. And it's Brock Lesnar against Roman Reigns. Now, Roman Reigns is, is not really old, well, is he? he won the... Uh, so, it kind of links to mine. So, a month after my event, Daniel Bryan had to go and get neck surgery. And then his return was the Royal Rumble. Mm. So, when he came in, the crowd wanted Daniel Bryan to win the Royal Rumble. Yeah. And he didn't. 
Roman Reigns won the Royal Rumble. The ball boots. came out to lift his arm and he got booed. He got, yeah. Uh, I've never seen a Royal Rumble when I've been booed that much. With yeah, the rock was, in the ring as well, holding your hand up. Yeah. Yeah. It was, oh God, it was awful, wasn't it? Just wasn't happening. But I mean, I, mean, I feel sorry for him. But... Yeah, I did, but <sighs> the audience, that's what they're there for. They, you know, they mm. had their opinion, which they did. Um, so we're on WrestleMania 31, we're on the, the main event and we've got what well, Roman Reigns who people are a bit sick of because they felt Daniel Bryan should be in that position. I said I sent you this thing the other day, didn't I? Like what people would say about attitude era ones, like the rocks being shoved down your throat and stone mm. stone clothes being shoved down your throat and stuff like that. But it's you've got a change of the times like yeah Roman Reigns was literally winning everything. Yeah, like, like when I got in, back into wrestling, Roman Reigns was out injured, and I remember seeing him on TV and with you and Callum, and I, you were like, "Oh yeah, love Roman Reigns, can't wait till he's back." And I was just like looking at him, thinking, "I don't really see what the big deal is." Well, <laughs> at you know what I mean? that but, time, Roman Reigns, when he was in the Shield, he was awesome, and then mm. he did a solo career, which actually began pretty, pretty good. Mm. He and just then, got injured, didn't he? And yeah. They say a similar thing. Sorry, I know we're going off for money. <laughs> a similar thing, a thing happened with the Usos. Now the Usos were really big, and then one of them got injured. And at the time, it was them and the New Day, and everybody hated the New Day at first. And then the Usos yeah. were injured, and everybody started loving the New Day. And then when the Usos came back, they tried to come back with the same gimmick and nobody liked the Usos. The Usos had to change it up. They had to go heel, mm. which is kind of what Roman Reigns has done. He's had to go heel to kind of, you know, if people already hate you, the easiest thing you can do is be a heel. Yeah. Because you're telling them, I'm doing my job if you hate me. So, so sorry, that's just... Roman Reigns. <laughs> is, 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 in short, is hated. People don't want him there in the main card. Mm. Then you have Brock Lesnar, who... It's just, it's just winning everything. Like you just think, God, will nobody take him out? Not John Cena, not the Big Show, not the Undertaker. And bearing in mind, SummerSlam of this year before WrestleMania, the Undertaker had a redemption match. Do you remember? Because that's the mm. that's the famous scene where the Undertaker sits up and does that little face. Oh, he's like laughing. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> So, even I mean, the Undertaker actually won that match, but it, it ended in a weird way because the the they rang the they rang the bell, but then the referee said um, no, he didn't tap, and then the Undertaker mm. low blowed him and then got him into the triangle lock and then but as the tapped out, yeah. So that is a weird ending, but anyway, so you have these two wrestlers who nobody really wants to win. And to be fair, it was, a, it was a pretty good match. Roman Reigns was giving it to some, and Brock Lesnar was giving it to some. In the first 30 seconds, Brock Lesnar started bleeding. He, was, he got cut open on his cheek. Mm. And um, so, yeah, it was a pretty good match. But you, like, you kind of knew it was, kind of, it was rather, it was pretty much going to go Brock Lesnar's way. That's the way it was kind of going. Yeah. And then suddenly, you hear a noise. <laughs> Oh, and at yeah. first, at first, I was like, I was like, what the hell is that? I'm so confused. I remember and watching it with you. Yeah, it's yeah like, it, it gives me goosebumps even now seeing it because I was just I like, know. so amazing. Go on. But this is the this is the <laughs> thing I love about it is because you have this two wrestlers who nobody you don't want either one to really win, but you're still mm. watching it and it's still a good match because they are good wrestlers, despite what you think of them. They are good wrestlers and they do mm. put in a good a good fight. Then Seth Rollins comes running in, cashes in, mm -hmm. and he chucks Roman Reigns out, stir, um, curve stomps Brock Lesnar, goes to it again, but then Brock Lesnar catches him and does the, um, yeah. I was going to say the F5 then. Um, He's going to, isn't he going to German suplex him when Roman Reigns spears him? And then, 
I'm sure Seth Rollins curb stomps Roman Reigns and pins Roman Reigns. Yeah, so when Brock Lesnar does that, you think, oh no, he's gonna do, he's gonna, you know, uh, German suplex Seth Rollins, and go, and then Seth Rollins is gonna lose the belt. You know, it's gonna lose mm-hmm. his chance. I thought that's the way it was gonna go. Brock Lesnar was gonna Seth Rollins was gonna cash in, and Brock Lesnar would still win. Yeah, and I thought that's a pretty good ending because I didn't see that coming, but then suddenly. Roman Reigns spears Brock Lesnar and then Brock Lesnar rolls out the ring and Seth Rollins uh, yeah curb stomps Roman Reigns and then pins Roman Reigns yeah now that all happens within about 40 seconds so from him coming in you're like oh my god it's Seth Rollins to then oh my, okay Brock's still going to win to then mm. Seth Rollins has just won from like the emotion I know it sounds dead pathetic, but the emotion you go through is unbelievable. And that is why I love wrestling. And even more so because, and I think this is what you're about to say, Seth Rollins only found out he was going to win the belt, what, a few hours before? Yeah. No, that wasn't what I was going to say. <laughs> um, Seth Rollins, at uh, this time, I love Seth Rollins. That, when he was money in the bank, whatever, yeah. and... You know, he, ca- he carried that case round. Like, anybody that doesn't know what money with the bank is, you basically, you got to climb up a ladder and get a briefcase. And then the briefcase is a contract that guarantees you a chance of the belt whenever you want. So he's winning this, but he's carrying around the case like it's bigger than the actual belt. The way I remember he's got his security and everything. It was mm. so good. Um, and... Uh, the day of, I think we were talking about it, I was like, imagine, like, he cashes. And we were kind of going, ah, that'll never happen because that's actually a good idea. <laughs> yeah. Um, and I remember when it happened, we were all like, it's one of them, we were like, oh, my God, like, it's Seth yeah. Rollins, is he going to win? Um, and then when Brock Lesnar doesn't get pinned straight away, you're thinking, oh, no, is he cashing in? Because sometimes people cash in and don't win. Um Imagine that for Seth Rollins if you cast and then went at WrestleMania at the main yeah. event. Do you know, he's the first person... The fact to... he made it... A... Don't go on. He's the first person to cash in money in the bank at WrestleMania and win. Mm. Yeah. Well, yeah, like you said as well, he got told sort of 40 minutes before. And it's his... I mean, him and Roman Reigns are quite good mates. Imagine that, because it was it was Roman Reigns's moment. Mm. One of his first, I think it was his first WrestleMania in the main event. He's had like five now. But um, like, like, but yeah. like you said, he he found out forty minutes before that ma- uh, before he cashed in, so he must have found out during the match. Yeah, he had a match that day, didn't he? Yeah, so. He had a match he, against Randy Orton. Yeah, so if he found out during yeah. the match, the way them three athletes, Brock Lesnar, Roman Reigns, and Seth Rollins, actually ended it with Roman Reigns rolling up the, well, uh, Roman Reigns spearing the Brock, uh, Brock and then Brock rolling up the ring. The way that all panned out, bear in mind, two of them didn't know that was happening. It's just such a great moment. Um, and like I said, the emotion you go through is just unbelievable. Yeah. I think he got told, I'm sure I read, I mean, I may be wrong here, I'm sure he got told about it. Didn't, didn't Undertaker have a match at that WrestleMania? Um, I'm sure it was during the Undertaker match. Because I know it was, that one was DX. Um, and, and the Sting one. Yeah, yeah, I oh know. So Triple H and Sting, but then DX came in, and then NWO mm. came in. I think he might have got told during that. But what? But like moment? you said, he had he had that match with Randy Orton, and that was an amazing match. That's the one where he did um, that RKO. He was trying to he was doing a curb stomp, one and he ended up he turned it into an RKO, which was that just is one of my on. one of my favorite apparently they RKOs. they practiced that they practiced that before, and then it was wasn't never working so that when they did that it was just by chance it was perfect like it's right. so it was that as well 
Um, but yeah, I love that moment. It's one of my favourites. Yeah. Like yeah. I said, I watch it now. I mean, Dan Brown when I watch and gives me goosebumps, but that one is just like, like you said, it's just like, it's why I love Money in the Bank so much. It's so yeah. like, such a good thing to win. But yeah. So that's my pick. Uh, I don't think I could decide which one's better. Yeah, the both is good. Out there. <laughs> so, I mean, that's the thing about WrestleMania. There's always a good. Sorry, there's something weird on the moment. <laughs> there's always um, good moments in WrestleMania, um, but you never know what they're going to be, which is which is also good. Mm. So moving on to this year's. <laughs> right. No, we've been talking quite a lot, so I want to. We need to fly through this because there's we be up. It'd be like a five-hour episode. There's so many mm. matches. So night one. This is what. Uh, this is the fight card as it stands. Night one. Bobby Lashley, who's the champion against Drew McIntyre. I fancy Drew McIntyre. I fancy Drew as well. That's mm, not the red crown. That's not the red, it? That's not. <laughs> is there a there's a crowd? Isn't there a crowd at this one? Twenty five thousand. I think Drew because he never got to win with a yeah. crowd last year. I'd say Drew as well. Okay, and I, I just don't like Bobby Lashley. I don't know what else. No, he's overrated. Yeah, yeah. Next we have SmackDown Women's Championship. Sasha Banks, who is the champion, against Bianca Belair. I'd be surprised if Bianca Belair doesn't win. I quite like her. Now, you know that first time. I, um, I don't know. She's she's all right, um, but I think I think Bianca probably will still win. Do you reckon? Because mm. she's not Bi- Bianca Belair. Yeah, she's had a big push, hasn't she? Especially with the mm. documentary about her. I, st- I don't know where she can go from that. But, you know, if, if she does win, I'll carry it on and she's mm. I'm her way a lot. Oh. Well, on a side note to that, it got announced that there's rumours. Well, no, sorry, there will be return. Charlotte, not Charlotte Flair. Um, Ro- uh, God, I remember. So someone has got to me today. Um, Ronda Rousey mm. and Becky Lynch will return very soon. Really? It's confirmed. Confirmed today. Mm. So, that could be interesting. Could be yeah. Raw, SmackDown. Yeah. Um, okay, next, I'm going to. I don't want to say the words. Uh, Bad Bunny and Denny Priest. I, I think Bad Bunny's going to. I think Bad Bunny's going to win. So it's Bad Bunny, Denny Priest against The Miz and John Morrison. <laughs> I'm not even going to. I'm gonna 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 discuss that. I'm not discussing that. that okay. Can, <laughs> okay. Next, uh, Cesaro and Seth Rollins. Uh, I wrote Seth Rollins, but it'd be nice to see Cesaro win. Yeah, I mean that is a great match. I also, I never, I've, I meant to mention it on my Daniel Bryan WrestleMania as the year that Cesaro won the Battle Royale. It's such yeah. a good WrestleMania. Mm. <laughs> yeah. Oh, God, uh, Cesaro on that one. We hope so. Uh, then you have the Raw tag team. Uh, so it's in the New Day, who are the champions, against AJ and Omos. I fancy in the New Day. New Day when a WrestleMania seems to be the thing now, doesn't it? I don't know. I want to see AJ, but you're probably right. You know what I mean? With New yeah, Day. I mean... It's hard, isn't it? I like both of them, but I'm going to go with you, Uh Next match is a steel cage match against Shane McMahon against Braun Strowman, which should be a great match. Do you know this is the second steel cage match there's ever been at a WrestleMania? Oh, really? There's only ever been one before. Uh, in 1986. WrestleMania 2. I was going to say... Right, no wonder I don't remember it. I was trying to think. It was uh, Hulk Hogan against King Kong Monday. 
they never. I don't know why they don't do steel cage. Well, what, shout man, how do you feel about steel? Point. How do you feel about steel, steel cage matches? I always think that you shouldn't. I don't get this. You pin them and you can submit. It. What I always understood when I was younger is the only way to win a steel cage was you had to leave the cage. Mm, That's yeah. changed now, and it yeah. changed it a little bit. I think it should just be you've got to escape the cage. Yeah, yeah, I know. You're right. Mm. But yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm going to go I'm, with Shane McMahon. I am as well. I'm expecting Shane to do a massive bump. Probably. Mm. Okay, <laughs> next you have, this is, quite a, this is quite a lot. So you have Naomi and Lana against Mandy Rose and Dana Brooks against the Riot Squad against Natalia and Tamane. Tamina. 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 That's what I said. Tamina. You said Tamina or I said Tamana. Let's call the whole thing though. Um, I'm going to say Riot Squad because they're quite like I think Riot Squad should get more of a push. I don't know why they don't. Yeah. Um, I like the look of Riot Squad compared to everyone else. Well, interestingly, so whoever wins this match. Um, gets to go against Shayna Blaze and Nia Jax on night two. Uh, so they probably get injured and are out for six months. Fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> I only go. So it's not really a win. <laughs> I only go Dana Brooks and Mandy Rose. Mm, they, I don't, yes. Uh, I'm going with who I want to win. I want Riot Squad to win. I quite like Riot Squad. So that is night one. Uh, not too bad, to be fair, for night one. The best match in there is probably going to be either the Bianca and Sasha Banks or Seth Rollins and Cesaro, I reckon. Or the Hell in a Cell. Uh, so Steel Cage, sorry. Yeah, I don't know. Okay, night two. Mm. We have Roman Reigns, Edge and Daniel Bryan. Well, I'm going to try and go for my man, Daniel Bryan. It'll probably, it may be Edge. I don't know. Is yeah, I'm going to say, I'm gonna say gonna Edge. I'm going to say Edge. I'll be disappointed if it's Roman Reigns. Yeah, I know. I know he's a heel, but I never liked him when he was a baby first. <laughs> um, <laughs> next, we have the uh, Royal <laughs> Women's Championship. So it's Oscar, mm -hmm. who's the champion, against Rhea Ripley. I'm going with Rhea Ripley. Yeah, I've said a I've, few I've, times, I quite like I Rhea her. Ripley. She's yeah, wrestler. she's so good. She's one of those, well, there's something about her. I don't know, I wouldn't quite say she's got the X Factor, but there's definitely something about her that I like. And I don't know what Absolutely. it is. Absolutely. So maybe yeah. she has got the X Factor. Yeah. yeah. Uh, next we have uh, Bray Wyatt against Randy Orton. I'm going to go with Bray Wyatt. I've no idea what what's the match. It's a weird match, isn't it? Is that Funhouse match or something? I think it's just a singles match, I believe. It might be. But I mean, nothing's is he straightforward. Keep, is he keeping that is he keeping that melted face mask or is it I changing so. up a bit? I don't I don't quite like it. It's, it's not very polished. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Um, yeah, I'm going to go Bright White on that one as well. Next, yeah. we have the Intercontinental Championship. Big E against Apollo Crews. Big E is the champion. I'm going to go with Big E. Just yeah. because I prefer Big E to Apollo I don't rate I think, Apollo Crews at all either. I think Big E will, will retain. Yeah, Big E needs a bit of a push now as a singles wrestler. Yeah. Apollo yeah. Crews has kind of had his time, hasn't he? You've had your time. Back off. <laughs> um, and then, uh, I mean, we've had this match how, hundreds of times, but it doesn't seem how to How weird they split up the New Day completely there, having them on separate nights. Yeah. Mm. Sorry, go on. So, yeah, this match, we've seen a hundred times, but it's still good. Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn. Um, I'm going to go with Kevin Owens. He's, I mean, I like both of them. I'm Again, it's Sammy. one of them. It's one of them, you're like, I'll be happy whoever wins, but I just want to see a good match. 
I like I Sammy's Sam in. I like his gimmick yeah. at the minute. It's so good. It's good in it. Uh, we've not seen much of Kevin Owens really, have we? So no. I like now, his merchandise. A... It's always good at WrestleMania. Kevin yeah. Owens. Yeah. This is a good one. Well, it's a bit. I don't know. It seems a bit random to be fair, but um, Riddle against Sheamus. Yeah. Why? Why the wrestling? Um. What's the story? I don't. There isn't that much of a story. I don't think. Don't put it on then. It's WrestleMania. I mean, yeah. um, it's a big day. It's a big night, and you're stuck in. I'm gonna go people. Sheamus. I'm going with Riddle. Oh. Interesting thing about Riddle, you know that thing we've talked about where he forgot his line and walked off? <laughs> yeah. Um, that wasn't live. That was pretty recorded that day. And um, apparently Vince McMahon was pissing himself watching it and thought, I'll just keep it in. Right, okay. <laughs> so, one, of, one of these scooters in Japan. <laughs> <laughs> um, so I think that's really weird. Like, Because everyone thinks it's live and that he messed up his line. That's what everyone's been talking about. But apparently Vince McMahon just thought it was so funny. I'll keep it in. On the basis of what you've just told me, I'm going to change my mind to Riddle. Because if Vince McMahon loves a guy, he loves to push mm. him, doesn't he? So I'm going to go, yeah. go Riddle. Next, we have Nia Jax, Shayna Blazer against TBC to be confirmed. Um, well, I've gone with Riot Squad because I've hoping Riot Squad won, but hopefully it's TBC, whoever TBC. I reckon Nia Jax and Shayna Blazer. Yeah, um, oh yeah, another another strange one: Dolph Ziggler against Robert Roode um, against the Street Profits. That's for the SmackDown tag street, team. I've gone with Street Profits because I don't think because aren't they in like a stable? Yeah, and they're quite hot at the moment. You know, with the with the red coats. So, people people love yeah, them. I've kind of gone with Street Street Profits. I think because they seem to be getting a bit of a push. Yeah. Yeah. There's more matches on the second night that I'm looking forward to than the first. You know, the yeah, Daniel Bryan match, yeah. the Rhea Ripley match, the Bray Wyatt match, the Big E match, the Kevin Owens match. Now, That's here's five. a question. Do you think there'll be any shock returns? I hope so. <laughs> <laughs> um, what? I don't know. Who's been missing for a while? Brock Lesnar's not been there for a while. They took his merchandise off the site. I don't know. I would like to see The Rock come back and say to Roman Reigns that he's disrespecting the family and just see a rock bottom. And then, you know, The Rock kind of just end that, you know, head of a table kind of storyline. Mm. Yeah. It won't happen, but it'd be good to see. Um, I mean, you may see Ronda Rose there. I think they might save some returns for Raw and SmackDown. That's yeah. what usually happens. Yeah. Are you going to see anybody? There's no NXT uh, matches there, is there? Well, no, but they, I mean, they have the takeover. They've just had it, haven't they? But there's, but, I mean, there's no NXT UK. Is going to be in it? Do you think any NXT people are coming up? Or make an entrance. Um, I don't know. I mean, maybe, but you never why, know. Why? Why isn't um? Why isn't Charlotte Flair on this? Well, she she had coronavirus, didn't she? Yeah, about three weeks ago. She might come back. It's just yeah. And there's a few. Why is Bailey not on here? I don't know, but I mean, but don't forget you still have the <laughs> kickoff show, which will have at least one match. Mm. I don't know who's on the kickoff show, though. Uh, it's a very lackluster WrestleMania, isn't it? There's, mm. there's no um, <laughs> star attraction for me. Mm. Um, so that's seven, um, just so everyone else as well. Me and John are going to do a live. Um, stream on YouTube on for the kickoff show while the kickoff show is on, and we're just going to break break down WrestleMania 37 again that we've just done, answer any questions, um, and you know yeah just get people on and they can talk to us and we're just going to 
Yeah. Are we going to be watching the pre-show while we're doing it? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So we can yeah. talk about what you, you might you might be doing. Yeah. Same. Pre-show is a bit like you don't fully watch it really unless it's. Mm. Yeah. So yeah, if you want to, if you want to come on and say hello, you got some questions about WrestleMania, you can answer. Um, you can ask him, and we. Um, yeah. You can ask questions, and we, we'll answer them. So yeah, we're gonna start at what ten, ten to eleven UK time. Yeah. Hopefully. <laughs> um, so yeah, next time we'll see you. We'll be on the kickoff show. See you then. Uh, so yeah, we'll see you then. It's goodbye from me. Goodbye from the Scottish stud himself. Mm -hmm. See ya. See you again soon. <laughs>